Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhtadar Khan. I'm a professor at the University of Delaware and I'm also an advisor to the First State Islamic Foundation. The First State Islamic Foundation is a conglomerate of Islamic organizations. It has a masjid, Masjid Isa. Uh, it has an Islamic school, Tarbiya Islamic School, and it also has various civil society, social institutions like the Delaware Council on Muslim and Global Affairs. We also support uh, Muslim culture and literature. We also host uh, poetry events. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to you today to first wish you Eid Mubarak to you to, and to your family and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all the good deeds that you have performed in the month of Ramadan. I also wanted to share with you a very beautiful tradition. Uh, according to Hadith of Qudsi, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth, the earth was shivering. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created mountains and placed them upon earth and the earth became steady and balanced. The angels who were observing this were very impressed and especially with the mountains and said, Ya Allah, is there anything more powerful than mountains? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, yes, it is iron, perhaps because iron can cut through mountains. And then the angels said, Ya Allah, is there anything more powerful than iron? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, yes, fire perhaps because fire can melt iron. Uh, then the angel said, Ya Allah, is there anything more powerful than fire? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, yes, water, because all life comes from water, and water is essential for life. It can douse fires. Then the angel said, Ya Allah, is there anything more powerful than water? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in his great wisdom, said, yes, the thing that is more powerful than the mountain, than the iron, than the fire, than the water, is that servant of mine who gives with his right hand and his left hand does not know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran that the, those who spend in the path of Allah by night and by day and those who spend it secretly and in publicly for them Allah ta'ala has reserved a great reward. They have nothing to fear and they have nothing to grieve. Charity, sadha, and giving is one of the most important elements of being a Muslim and it is extremely valid according to some scholars. Uh, even prayer is not as much a proof of being a Muslim because even Munafiqs used to pray. But sadha and charity and giving in the path of God is perhaps one of the most uh, powerful indicators of who we are. So today I am requesting you to, to take a moment and to look at the wonderful things that the First State Islamic Foundation is doing. Uh, imagine what more we could do if we had our own property. We are in the process of buying a, a, a large tract of land and buildings that will help us uh, serve the Muslim community not only in Delaware but also in the Northeast. Uh, we, uh, we have a masjid. We have an Islamic school which has an extremely diverse student body, nearly 200 students, which employs uh, modern pedagogical techniques and also cultivates a sense of Muslim identity among the students. Uh, and we also have an interesting situation where two of our community members have promised to match whatever we raise in the month of Ramadan. So if we raise $100, one of the brothers will match it with a hundred dollar donation and another brother has promised to give us a hundred dollar loan a qard e hasana to help us develop our infrastructure so i ask you to help us in this month of ramadan uh, earn yourself some blessings earn yourself a, an eminent place in god's domain and help us create a place for ourselves in Delaware where we can serve not only the Delaware Muslim community but also Muslims in the northeastern region and everybody else who is interested in balancing faith in this modern life. Uh, so don't waste your time. If you do your niya in the month of Ramadan, you will get the ajar that you would get for month of Ramadan. So please think of helping us and Eid Mubarak to you and to your family. Assalamu